If you're interested in promoting your brand, business, or talent on the first 15 to 30 seconds before each video, email me right now at advertise at hiphopun.com. That's advertise at hiphopun.com. We got some special rates right now. Do not wait. All right, man. Jay Prince just put WAC 100 on immediate notice. Now, if you haven't been watching, man, WAC 100 has pretty much been making a name of himself, going at different people. Well, it looks like he threw the rock at the wrong one because Jay Prince just put this message out. And let me tell you, this one is crazy. Hey, before I play this video, go ahead and hit the like button, trust and believe. And make sure you guys subscribe to Hip Hop News Uncensored and lock them because this is about to get crazy. Roll tape. It's no secret that I, along with the Hoover family, lawyers and friends are fighting hard for Larry Hoover freedom that the first step at law says he deserves. Meanwhile, this dude Wack and Karen Chapman has taken a position to work against the Hoover family by trying to monetize off his name and withhold footage that could contribute to his freedom. So if it's one thing this Wack dude is telling the truth about is that I don't fuck with him. When I was in LA talking to this lying ass nigga never once, did he take the position he was partners in the theft of the Hoover families like he's doing on that rehearsed conversation with them clowns? Now, what he is not telling the truth about is why. So listen up. There's a woman by the name of Karen Chapman that and friends are fighting hard for Larry Hoover's freedom that the First Step Act law says he deserves. Meanwhile, this dude Wack and Karen Chapman has taken a position to work against the Hoover family by trying to monetize off his name and withhold footage that could contribute to his freedom. So if it's one thing this Wack dude is telling the truth about is that I don't fuck with him. When I was in LA talking to this lying ass nigga never once did he take the position he was partners in the theft of the Hoover families like he's doing on that rehearsed conversation with them clowns. Now, what he is not telling the truth about is why. So listen up. There's a woman by the name of Karen Chapman that was entrusted by the Hoover family to interview Larry Hoover with the understanding of bringing the interview back to the family. She decided to run off with the interview and a fake fraud contract claiming Larry Hoover signed all his rights away for nothing. Larry Hoover is far from being a dummy, so for Wack and Karen to be taking a position on disrespecting the Hoover family by attempting to sell Larry Hoover likeness without the family permission is a mistake for whomever considering buying it. I've been around a long time and I know when someone is trying to set me up with police conversations. So I won't lip wrestle with you cake ass niggas on Clubhouse. But I tell you what, I don't know if you were violated on the block or what, but all that snake jealousy and hate shit you have in your heart niggas, bring that shit to Dr. Prince and I'm gonna cure you of that disease. Let me say this to the homies in LA and around the world. All money is not good money. And a nigga that will kiss a rat in the mouth for any amount of money is capable of anything, like sending you on a suicide mission to laugh at you. Read the wisdom between the lines and don't follow this clown. You know, it's about time that somebody prominent in the industry called out his name, man, because it's only so long that you can actually, 
you know, uh, uh, continue to slander someone's name. So I'm definitely 100% glad, glad that Jay Prince, you know, did this. One thing I'm a little disappointed about, honestly, is that now, all right, now you give him more content. But, hey, it had to be said. I'm, I'm going to fall back. I'm not going to go much more into it. You guys see what's going on in the industry. And one thing I got to pretty much salute Jay Prince, you know, a lot of it was good. All of it was good, actually, was to think about, like, the whole rat situation. It's like, I don't know, like, since when since, since when has it been cool to embrace, like, somebody who snitch, right? And like he said, if you're willing to fraternize and do business with somebody, every, all money ain't good money. I, I can't even repeat it no more. Like, I can't even add more to it because it's real talk. Like, yeah, money, you know, it, it could be good, but it's like, at what cost? At what cost? That's the whole saying, all money ain't good money. Like, okay, you getting money, you doing this, but you're you know, uh, jeopardizing your morals, your integrity, things that matter to real men. You know what I mean? So it's your boy, Oh God Man, Hip Hop News Uncensored. Jay Prince has spoken. Make sure you guys share this video. You know what I mean? Hit it up. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. And make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button. What do you think, man? It's been a lot of stuff going on on Clubhouse and a lot of these different apps. And people think they can say what they want to say. But eventually... You're going to talk to the wrong person. And like I say, man, you you got to just be careful. You got to be careful here because a lot of stuff is now moving past YouTube in real life. Now, all Wack is going to do is go on Clubhouse and continue to disrespect. And the cycle continues, man. So, hey, it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section about this video, man. It's your boy, Ogami Hip Hop News Uncensored. Over and out. Peace.